In this video, we will learn how to find the distance between parallel lines in the coordinate plane. The first thing you want to remember is what parallel lines are. They're two lines that will never intersect. Parallel lines are special also because they have the same slopes. So these two lines, these two vertical lines, are parallel. Now, if the lines are vertical, or if the lines are horizontal, to find the distance between them, all you need to do is count how many units are between them. This is because the shortest distance between two lines will be a line that is perpendicular to both. And to get a line perpendicular to both, if the lines originally are vertical, you would just make one that's horizontal. And if the lines are originally horizontal, then you would just the shortest distance will be a vertical line. Okay, So in this example on the left, the distance between these two lines is 3, or 3 units, because if you count, there's 1, 2, 3 units between them. Or the little segment that is perpendicular to both of them is 3 units long. For the case of the horizontal lines, the vertical line that shows the shortest distance between those two lines is four units long. So the distance between those two lines is four units. So basically, if the lines are vertical or horizontal, all you need to do is count the spaces between them. Okay. Now, if the lines are not vertical or horizontal, meaning that they are more slanted like this, it is a little bit more complicated. But the idea is the same. The shortest distance between these two lines will be a line that is perpendicular to both. So in order to figure out what the line looks like that's perpendicular to both, we need to think about slopes. Parallel lines have the same slopes. So we look, if we look at both of these lines, we'll figure out that the slope of each of them is 2. So both of these lines have a slope of 2. So the slope of the parallel lines equals 2. So that means that the slope of a line that has to be perpendicular to both of those is going to be negative 1 half, which is the opposite reciprocal. So the slope of the perpendicular line equals negative 1 half. So we need to create a line that has a slope of negative 1 half that passes through these two lines here so that we can figure out the distance between the two lines. So what you should do is pick a point that you know the exact coordinates of. For example, this point right here. I can see that this is the point negative 3, 2 exactly. Then start creating a line from this point that has a slope of negative 1 half. So go down 1 and over 2, down 1 and over 2, until you hit the line. And that's what we did. So this little line segment is perpendicular to those parallel lines because it has opposite reciprocal slope. So now, to answer the question of what's the distance between the parallel lines, we just have to figure out the distance of that between those two points or the length of that line segment. To do that, you can use the distance formula in order to find the length. Now remember the distance formula just relies on the difference in the x coordinates and the difference in the y coordinates. So let's draw those in. The difference in the y coordinates will be 2 and the difference in the x coordinates will be 4. So using the distance formula, we have the distance is the square root, the difference of the x-coordinates, which was 4, squared, plus the difference of the y-coordinates, which was 2, squared. Remember that the x-coordinates are always the horizontal line, and the y-coordinates are always the vertical line. We can keep simplifying this. We get the square root of 16 plus 4, which is just the square root of 20. So in this specific example, the distance between these two parallel lines, because that was the original sort of thing we were trying to figure out, the distance between them is the square root of 20. And that's the shortest distance between them because it's, a length, it's the length of the perpendicular line that connects them.